Well, all right. Speaking of pizza. Um, Speaking of pizza, pizza. Yeah. that's There's, my new thing. I'm opening up a pizza shop. <laughs> there are a lot of people that would think that this is their dream job, right? Mm -hmm. You own a game store. I have been told that. Yeah. My entire How many people have like come in here like, oh, yes. I wish I owned a, gra yes. a game store. <laughs> all of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. right? Oh my god. I've and they're all going to open a game store too. Oh, sure. sure. Every one of them. But you does. know what? I was thinking about opening a game store. I'm like, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, which leads to the next thing, which is, yeah. I don't think you're doing this right, Bill. Oh, oh God. Oh. I wouldn't do that if I, were, if I was running this game store. Mm. So we're here with Phil at Game Masters in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, on a typical Pittsburgh day, beautiful rainy day, <laughs> overcast. <laughs> no, we did have two weeks of great sunshine. Mm -hmm. This is a remnant of a hurricane. Anyway, we're, um, yeah, so we're going to talk about what it's like to own a game store, games, and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. My name's Patrick. I'm also Pittsburgh Pat on YouTube. and Hey, I'm Ryan Doyle from The Verdi Retailer. Also on YouTube. And, oh, uh, I'm not on YouTube. <laughs> well, I you are now. now. You are now. Yeah. And I'm Phil Glothfody. I'm the owner of Game Masters in Pittsburgh, PA. And there you go. And I'm not on YouTube. You're, that's why we're doing this to get mm -hmm. Phil on YouTube. Because, exactly. Uh, everybody should know about that's this. Place. My, that's my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm somebody now. I'm, somebody. I'm on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I can die. <laughs> and that happens on YouTube. All the time. Uh, all the time. All yes. time. <laughs> so, uh, what's. <laughs> all right, so let's answer the obvious questions. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you got a game store, but when people come in here and they, they, they meet you for the first time, they're sometimes unaware that you have a um, particular um, condition. Yeah, I'm beautiful. Yeah, it's <laughs> very strange. Right. I didn't it's really like, know how to talk it to you. It is. People are like, boom, oh my God, that man. And, <laughs> and they walk around and they're silent like m mice, you know, and they're like walking around and, and then you're like, is, hey, 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 you. I'm here. Yes. You have to talk to me. I <laughs> am, yes, I am the, uh, I think I'm one of, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm blind. Yeah. So I cannot see. Yeah. yeah. So people come in and they go, I don't look blind. No. Well, until you look at me for a while, you're like, okay. Yeah. He's either blind or I think he's been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> it could be both. It could be two both. things. It could be two I'm things. I'm not saying either of those are untrue. <laughs> um, but yes, you know, so, you know, people don't know it right away because I used to be sighted and I lost my sight so I could fake it really well. Right. Like, except I can't figure out where the damn camera is. <laughs> so, but the, um, uh, so people don't know that. And if I, I have to tell them because if I don't, then they're like, they run into you. Mm -hmm. They run into me. Yeah. I run into yeah. them. You no one ever them. ran into right. me in my right. life. Right. I run into everybody. Yeah. And then, of course, I run into them, and they're like, oh, my God, this guy's groping me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. And, and two things can be true. No. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but I run into people, or I ask dumb questions. Mm. You know? Well, they're not dumb to me. Well, but that's they, the they, thing, though, right? So, like, yeah. it's, you know, you do, and you, you ask people questions. What can I get for you? Are you looking for yes. something particular, that sort of mm -hmm. thing? And that kind of service is uh, becoming rarer and rarer. Mm -hmm. So like, I think it catches some people off guard, especially, um, I don't want to stereotype uh, game players, but there is a certain class of game player that's a little more introverted sometimes. It's a polite and, way to say it. Yeah, maybe like not as, you know, like uh, like gregarious, you know? So like, uh, you know, we're, introvert, we're not intro, them. Introverted is the word. Yeah, right? you know, like uh, they're, they're, they're into their games, but uh, not so much, not as much into people, although, you created like a social environment in here, like. Um, well, I, I, that was our that was my goal originally, um, when we first started. When I first started to start twenty eight years ago, me and my wife. Yeah. Because we, I what I was always a gamer, but I wanted a store, but I had been I'm a child of the eighties, yeah. right? So all game stores were the same back then, right? Mm -hmm. They're in a basement. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And they're dark. Yeah. And they're dirty, and is some like guy behind the counter. Who does not want to talk to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. he's like, "Could you buy something and please leave?" You know, um, you can't ask them. Yeah, he's a bad guy. <laughs> so I always hated that. I mean, this is a social game, mm -hmm. and so it's the middle of the '90s, right? Because I started in '96. Okay, and I'm like, "Why are all these game stores like this?" Mm -hmm. You know, we, that's not how it should be. It should be a place where I can come and drop my kid off. Mm. Or I can meet other people. I can be social. Yeah. Uh, so that's why we put tables in. And it's like, you can come down and play. It's not enough just to, here's your game. 
five, shoot, have fun. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's here's the game. Why don't you sit down there and play with these other people who also are interested in what you're doing? Mm. Right, and you have events where like you'll do that. So yes, like, yeah, and we've been doing that, like I said, since the nineties. Yeah. So it was that, and we we're like, no, we don't want to do that. And I said, you know, you know, which is weird for the blind guys going, I want light. You know, <laughs> I want you to walk in the store, and I want there to be nice lights, right? And I want the place to be clean. I need a, parents to walk in. I said to my wife, I said, I need parents to walk in and go. Oh, I'd let my kid come in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because of course it was a different, different time and a different. You know, there was mostly adolescent males back then. Yeah. Who were in the game. It's not like that at all. Either. No, everybody's in the game now. Exactly. Gaming's bigger than movies now. Exactly. You know? so because amazing. of movies, probably. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's a symbiotic yes. relationship between mm -hmm. the two, but it's true that like that industry is like it's outstripped everything. In fact, I think it's three times as much as Hollywood now. Mm -hmm. 